Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am catching puzzle pieces. Welcome to the channel. My name is Miguel. This will be part two to that last one. Shame. <clears throat> this book, man, this book is just a blessing. This book is a blessing. Healing the shame that binds you. So I feel like I didn't uh, break it down as good as I wanted to, as I needed to, about my nephew. So my nephew, we have a dog, and it was doing its thing, right, excited, whatever. It's just excited. It wants to play. And my nephew and my daughter were jumping up on the couch. So they, they were on the couch, but he was still, it was still too much for him. So his, if he is the way that I, like me, then he's a highly sensitive individual. He has, his nervous system is uh, much more sensitive, much stronger in the sense that it feels more things, right, going on than people who are not highly sensitive. Uh, for me personally, this, well, according to, to the uh, Elaine Aaron, I believe, she, uh, it's passed down it could be genetic the highly sensitivity but i'm still doing research a lot of it for me has been for my trauma emotional people gaslighting me people messing with me and that's why i grew up with hyper alertedness which is kind of like my nephew that's kind of an example where the dog is all excited but he's you know around the couch or whatever trying to jump on jump onto them or actually when i got there he wasn't even trying to jump onto him but and my nephew was still like super uh, too stimulated, right? That's the word that the doctors use, stimulated. Like there was too much stimulation going on around him. So uh, so his nervous system knows this, senses this, all of this. And this is how, how I am, right? So not by choice. And growing up, I don't know about my caretakers, caretakers, my parents and other individuals around me, whenever there were situations like that for myself, if they were actually teaching me how to calm down, how to self-soothe. And that's why now I've been learning how to self-soothe through meditating, through all these breathing exercises, through all these other exercises, right, that I've shared with you and other stuff that I haven't shared with you and so as we grow up, if we don't teach our child how to self-soothe, how to self-regulate, we don't have to explain it to them. We just, you know, carry them. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Breathe in, breathe out. Look, explain to them you're bigger than him or you're, you know, just help them self-soothe. Calm them down. Give them a hug. Hold them. Uh, and protect them. Not laugh at them. there's a child around you and they're scared and you're laughing at that you are not a good person or at least the way you're responding to that it might be from ignorance but now that you've heard this i shared this book with you and now you know now you have a better idea so this is what the word of god speaks of your intentions it is worse once you have heard about jesus christ it is worse once you have heard about this and you choose to still keep doing those negative behaviors. These are actually negative behaviors because you're aware of them and you're still choosing to do them. Whomever this may be, it could be me. You know, I myself, there's things that I still, oh, dang, I messed up. See, but now when you have the intention, I lose control of my emotions with my children or whatever, you know. Now I articulate, now I break it down. Hey, girls, I'm sorry. If this isn't about you guys, grandpa was rushing me, so now I'm, I kind of took it out on you guys, and I'm rushing you guys, but it's not about you guys, okay? It's just that I'm frustrated because my plans changed, and now I need to hurry up, and I need y'all to hurry, and so this is the reason why, all right? I love you guys, you're my princesses, and then I ask them if they're okay, if they have anything they want to talk to me about, uh, about that, right? And then... Yeah, but uh, I've got to go. 
I'll do a part three to this. And so, yes. So if we don't self-soothe these children, they end up like me, where I'm like, I uh, grew up with all these emotional flashbacks, fogginess in my mind. I didn't know how to defend myself verbally because I was because of self-shame. I was shamed for my mistakes, shamed for being me, shamed for the light that is within me that I didn't choose, right? Uh, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. See you on the next video. Thank you.